Welcome back to episode 3 of Fuso 4x4 Fridge Box Camper Van. In episode 2, you saw us removing the tipper bed and then dispatch the subframe. Now, in episode 3, we start to refurbish the chassis and also continue work on the box. Let's get started. While working to get the inside of the box smooth, we're using Upol Easy One Body Filler. It's a lot of filling and a lot of sanding. It's taken about a week of solid prep on the inside so far, and we haven't touched the outside. So I heard people asking how that it was quite difficult to get these uh, stickers off the top of the van, or the sticker residue, but actually it's quite easy. All you need to do is a tiny little bit of petrol, the brush, paint it on, just a bit, not much. Leave it for a few minutes. And basically, <coughs> Just wipe it off. Mm -hmm. 
bit of elbow grease. Now we've finally got the Sainsbury's decals off the roof, time to give the box a really good scrub. Again, the sanding continues, and this time outside the box. I've lost count of the hours spent sanding, but the more prep you do, the better the final result will be. There was so much prep to do on this chassis that had lived by the sea. It seemed to go on for days. And uh, once we'd managed to get the chassis back into a state ready for rust conversion, we did that job too. And here's a little before and after shot of the rear diff. So they were getting there, and as you can see, the shocks on this have seen better days. And shiny new shocks do look much better. The front wheel nuts presented no issues, however the rear wheel nuts and the studs did not want to part company. You'll see me here setting a 3 minute timer on my phone and heating a single wheel nut. Once glowing we achieved about 20 seconds of manipulation time before we needed to stop and heat again. Impact guns did nothing. We did manage to get one nut off using a combination of heat, brute force and a Milwaukee impact driver but the result was a socket so hot you couldn't touch it. So back to manual work with the inch drive breaker bar and a nice long extension. Winding each of these nuts off by hand took the thread off the studs with it. Seriously stubborn. The stud will not come off. So much heat just doesn't want to come off. <sighs> Been an absolute pig, and uh, now we're left with these uh, studs, outer studs to get off, so that then we can get to the inner studs. But all of these, just like the wheel nuts, are completely seized and uh, yeah, they're not going anywhere. So we're gonna struggle with those as well. Let's see what we can do. Time for a quick tea break, check some emails and get back to it. Sanding, sanding, and more sanding. You can see the shiny bit down there, and then the sandy bit. So about halfway down this wall, almost ready for a test fitting of the box. Just a touch more.
it's on. So now we can measure up, get this metal work made. Give us a better idea of uh, what she's going to look like. Well, that's all we've got time for in this episode. If you liked it, please click the like key and consider subscribing. We hope to catch you in the next episode of Fuso 4x4 Fridgebox Campervan.